This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite P845 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite P845 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make sure that it's safe to work on, and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, slide the two levers on top of the battery outward, and tilt the battery forward, and this way we remove the battery. And also while we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number. There's a label on the bottom of the laptop, and it says Toshiba on top, and right below it says P845S4200. P845 S4200. You only need to remember the P845. Okay, now that the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. For this type of laptop, and for most other laptops, in order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom. So before we start to do that, I'll go over the tools we're going to use for this procedure. First, we have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We also have a PH00 electronics screwdriver for smaller screws. A flathead 2 millimeter screwdriver to uh, pry hinge covers open and to manipulate parts if we need to. A pair of metal, sharp metal tweezers, and that's to remove any screws that may be stuck or to manipulate cables. And finally, a hobby knife or an X Acto blade, and that's to remove the plastic screw covers. And that's what we're going to start with first. So what we're going to do is use our X-Acto knife to remove the plastic screw cover, and this one came right off. Usually I want to put it right next to the screw opening, but this one, the adhesive is weak, so it won't stick, so I'll just put it to the side. The next thing we want to do is tilt the laptop screen all the way back and use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the screw at an angle. So make sure you get a good grip on it and then remove it. We're going to do the same for the other side, like so. And for each set of screws, I like to start to keep a separate pile, and I keep those piles in the order in which I remove them, and that helps me keep track of which screws go where. Now, once we remove the screws, we can snap the screen bezel off. And what I like to do for this case is put the fingers on the screen side, the fingertips on the screen side, and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for snapping sounds, and just go around the screen snapping it off. And if he gets stuck at a place, you can come back to that place later on when it's easier. And in this manner, just go around the whole screen assembly and take your time on this and eventually the screen bezel will come off. This one came off a little bit easier, but you probably have a little bit harder time with it. Okay, we put the screen bezel to the side and we take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's a, called a slim screen. It's mounted on some metal mounting tabs on top and bottom, so we have to remove two, four screws, two on top and two on the bottom. So we use our PH1 screwdriver again, and make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit when you do this. We go one by one. like so, and three, and four. And once again, we start a new pile for each set of screws. 
Once we do that, we gently start tilting the screen forward, make sure it's not getting caught on anything or stuck on anything. We tilt it forward like so, and we lay the screen down. And for this type of screen, there's only one connector on it that we have to remove, and there's some adhesive tape on top of the connector. So we use our X-Acto knife to lift it up like so and expose the connector and once we expose the connector we grab the video cable from the back and slide it out like so and now the screen is free but before we go any further I'm going to show you how to uh, reconnect it you want to slide it in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks so let's get a little bit of closer view of it okay pause the video right there make sure that there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other this is a good connection all right so we keep moving take the connector out again and let's take a look at the screen this is a 14.0 LED screen, slim, and um, this type is fairly commonly available, but what you have to be careful of is that the uh, older versions of this model used a different screen. So, for example, the Toshiba P745 used a, th a little bit thicker screen that would not fit on this screen, so you got to be careful that this is the first model that's using this type of screen. So the part number that you're looking for is N140BGE-L42. N140-BGE, N140BGE-L42. Now when your new screen comes in, it probably won't have this exact same part number, but this is the part number you need to look up, but it'll look exactly the same. Uh, you can also buy, purchase this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is we have a compatibility guarantee. We guarantee you that the screen we send you will be compatible with this one, or we'll send you a new screen. We also have free email technical support. So if you have any problems during the installation, send us email and we'll walk you through it. And we have a two-year warranty on all our screens. And we ship from uh, Atlanta and Las Vegas, both on the East Coast and the West Coast. So even if you order ground shipping, it will be there in three days or less. And if you live outside of the United States, most likely we can ship to your country. Uh, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to buy the right screen online, and then just go to the checkout process. Okay, once you do get the screen in, connect it as I showed you, mount it where the metal tabs line up with the screw, screw holes, put the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on, put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers, and you should be done. And that's it. Okay, um, this is it. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.